just before dawn on a Saturday morning and the chase is on. Fana Boy, his fellow hunters and their dogs are tracking prey on a private game reserve outside Johannesburg. The early start means they stand less a chance of being caught and a better chance of making a kill. I like to hunt in the, the meat. Hey, I, don't want the, I don't like that meat for another pusher. I like that one, the animal. Or that one is got a vitamin. Yeah. The pack spots a herd of wildebeest, but this time the buck is too big and escapes. Fana Boy is unemployed and has a family to support. If he gets caught, he faces a fine or even a jail term. Last time I was shooting the dog, but now they don't shoot the dog, just they take the, 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 the cash, the, the cash you, will take out, you go out with 500 or 1,000. Animal rights groups say the practice of hunting with dogs is barbaric. While a minority may be motivated by poverty and hunger, many are doing it for the money. It used to be more traditional where they would actually hunt for food and it would be one or two guys going out with, with the, uh, just a few dogs. Nowadays what, what has happened, they're actually using it more as a sport and then actually using it as part of gambling as well. Back at the hunt, it's been two hours and the hunters haven't caught anything. But the sun is rising now and it's time to leave before Fana Boy and his pack become the hunted. Leslie Marungu, CCTV.